Hi guys, I just thought I'd um, share my spread for today. It's the day after the lengthy chat about my personal history and my um, psychological issues and what have you that you can find on my channel. Um, and the reason I'm sharing the spread now basically is that I find it really strange how um, my relationship to these two different decks how uh, how different they they are the um, this one here is the uh, my version of the Minkiati deck and it has actually it it it's incomplete it doesn't have all the minors it has um, that's what I couldn't I couldn't find all the minors so I just used what I could find and I printed them out etc just as you know and so I get a spread that really works quite well with what I've been doing how I feel etc I get I get a queen of swords right there and I get um, it's actually a, like a mind body soul spread that I tend to fall back on, go back to every time I want to do this. So the Queen of Swords would stand for my mental, um, my intellectual state at the moment, the way I feel or the way I think at the moment. And I'm actually quite proud of doing the video and getting it done in one take. And I'm, yeah, I'm very pleased with that. So... Um, it's like a result, okay? You get a result from a lot of work and you've been suffering through things and now this is where you are. And the body situation is actually uh, very well balanced, isn't it? Uh, beautifully balanced. Um, there's uh, temperance and there's the Libra sign, which is my ascendant. So um, I'm always happy to see uh, a star sign in there. It's one of the reasons I love the, I love the Minky Artist so much. And the soul situation would have these. Actually, I think this is the strength card in the uh, in the Minkiati. It's also um, a virtue, I think, originally. Anyway, um, the prudence uh, certainly is. Is this prudence? Yes. And she has a book. And I uh, I love the virtues. They're really like you know uh, telling you. That um, if you just pay attention to this, that and the other, then you'll be okay. So um, both of those would really work really well together. So you give you a sense of, uh, you know, where you're going. Yeah? If you're careful, you can be, uh, you can use your strength with care. So that's fine. And this, I, this is the layer. I was actually looking for like a queen of pentacles. Emotionally, I felt like oh, it would be so nice to have a Queen of Pentacles. And what I got was the Page and the King of Pentacles from the Sasrabito uh, tarot uh, set that I made in the same way as the uh, as the other ones. Um, and there's a Ten of Cups in the middle. This is a complete deck. It's got everything. Um, so this feels better now. Than the spread that I attempted to do earlier with just the Sasurabito, it was really conflicted. There was all this, there was lots of swords and death, and everything was just all over the place. And I could tell that it's because I don't really have a relationship with this deck yet, which is which I find really strange because um, I made them the same way that I made the other ones. So there's no difference really there. They've got, uh, this is actually a very nice uh, earth tone uh, paint that contains real ochre, real earth. And this is just a, a marker that I put on the back. So in far as quality of the work goes, to the extent that you can say that about these things, um, this is actually a rather nice job. Well, there's got a little line there, but I don't mind that. And uh, you can see they're a bit different, but you have a nice shine to them because it contains Arabic gum as well. So it's really nice stuff. And I put, a, put the same amount of effort and care into these that I put into that. However, the imagery is completely different. This is 
this is ancient, right? This is just old school, European, very comforting to me. I love this stuff. It's very reassuring, very traditional. And this is modern, it's personal to somebody. And I love the imagery of each and every one of these cards because they they appeal to this inner child um, vibration a lot. And I love that. But I haven't really connected to the deck. And now that I combined the two with like this little spread with this one, it feels like... The Sasurabito is actually learning from the Minkiati to deal with me, to help to be a part of my life. And that's a, that was a new thought, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd put that on and see maybe what you think about this. Like, there's a deck that needs an older, like a parent deck to guide it along sort of. And if I use only this child deck at this time, um, it just gets very confused and angry even. <laughs> so maybe there's a thought. Anyway, I wasn't going to make any videos today. In theory, tomorrow is uh, our next appointment. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye bye.